Morning world, it's 10 to 10 in the morning. It's the 14th of June, 2013. And I'm looking at what's going on in the sky and I'm not seeing a lot and I'm thinking, hmm, boring. So what is going on up there? Well, there's two things that are of relevance. One is that nothing's happening. The moon is void. It's at 24, 25 degrees there. It's not void yet. It will be once it sextiles Jupiter in a few hours time. The moon will change sign later today. And when that happens, which will be, I don't know, um, something like half past five in the evening, UK time, when the moon moves into Virgo, then we'll see a shift of energy. Then the moon moves into Virgo and it basically starts making nice aspects to Saturn and Pluto. Perhaps the opposition to Neptune might be a little bit difficult for one or two people born at the start of Virgo or Pisces, but no big deal, to be honest, no big deal. So there's not a great deal happening there. Similarly, there's a, set, there's a sense of imminence. I've been looking at the crop circles. All the decent crop circles this year are happening in Italy. There's been two or three absolute classics out there, but nothing. there's been a few small ones in this country not really worth talking about yet. Imminent, though. And this is the big picture. The big picture is the Sun conjunct Jupiter. Now, if you, Jupiter's the biggest planet in the sky. It's bigger than all the rest of the other planets put together. So let's do a little homily on the Sun conjunct Jupiter. Jupiter's about growth and expansion. It's over the top. It's larger than life. It's where mountains get made out of molehills. It's where things can blow out of all proportion to reality. It's a storm in a teacup. It's a crisis made out of a drama. It's over-exaggeration, over-stretching, over-spending, over-weight, over-eating, more chocolate, over-amplification. And yet Jupiter's also got a lot going for it because it's about um, optimism and hope and humour. And at the positive side, Jupiter deals with growth and expansion in a way that deals with knowledge and wisdom and experience. This is why he's called the king of the gods. Now the sun is with Jupiter. The sun is the light bringer, soul. So Sol and Jove, the sun and Jupiter are together. Whenever I see a sun-Jupiter conjunction in a person's chart, inevitably I will find someone who is generous, magnanimous and big-hearted. But also in private, at times, melancholic and easily depressed because the sun Jupiter person will always expect too much of themselves, hope for too much, aim for too high, and thus become disenchanted. And that's a wonderful word for sun Jupiter, disenchanted, when they realise that the world is not as big or as beautiful as they wanted it to be. Sun Jupiter in Gemini, where we are now. Well, Jupiter is not comfortable in Gemini. It is overly verbose, at least at the mental level, if not at the, physical, at, at the verbal. And when the Sun is with Jupiter in Gemini, it brings, it brings a sense of exaggeration at the verbal level. It's far easier for t if ten, ten words will be heard and listened to and acted upon. 100 words will go in there, come out there. You know, 100 words will be heard, 10 words will be listened to. Sun conjunct Jupiter, over the top, yeah. Everybody's favorite fool. It makes everybody laugh, except themselves. Brings hope and humor. Their glass is always half full. It's a lovely aspect. Brings the traveler the teacher, the book publisher. All of this comes under the auspice of Sun conjunct Jupiter. And yet in Gemini over the coming few days as we rush towards the solstice, I suspect that the more expansive and over-the-top qualities of Jupiter may shall come through. So I urge caution in the coming three or four days about believing everything you're being told and about overstretching or overreaching. Keep things in perspective. We're heading into a Mercury retrograde. Things are beginning to detach themselves from that reality. It's not completely going to be the way it seems. Catch you later.